brought to you by Bank of Hyman, Thacker Grigsby, Paradise Pizza, Game On Hazard, Wicker Law Offices in Hyman, Hyman Land Auction Company, and TVS. everyone and welcome to high school district tournament play right here on hometown 24 i'm dave adams along with devin combs the hazard bulldogs has traveled across town to play the prairie county central commodores devin big game they happen to play in the first round of the district yeah usually uh they don't do that but it drawed out that way winner goes on loser goes home oh yeah it's a uh, Many people call this the greatest rivalry in high school sports. Uh, it's played out on this field many a time. Uh, for many years, it was Coach Bobby Dixon versus Coach John Meehan. John Meehan still in the Hazard Dugout, but former player Twain Willis running the show for the Commodores of Perry Central. Perry Central comes in with a record of 22-8. and eight. Hazard, 22-9. and nine. Oh, my, some good baseball on the way. And by the way, I was talking with the superintendent of Perry County Schools, John Jett. He says he's expecting one of the largest crowds oh, yeah. here tonight that they've had at a baseball game in quite some time. And I can see it's already took place, Devin. Yeah, it looks like a sellout here at Commodore Field. The new high wall in the back, they took about 14 feet off the back fence, but they built up to about seven or eight for the new back wall here at the field. Uh, we'll go ahead and go over your lineups for tonight. Uh, we'll start with the away team, the Hazard Bulldogs. Yeah, for Hazard, playing second base will be White Hensley, number 12, and also, at shortstop, number five will be Max Johnson for Hazard. Right fielder will be Gus Mullins. And batting fourth for Hazard will be the pitcher, Sawyer Patrick. Playing first base, Dawson Duff. He will have that job tonight. Third baseman, Craig Lake Logan will be the third baseman. And number 10 for the Bulldogs, Braxton Davison. He's the catcher. And Devin, he does a real nice job oh, yeah. for this team. Number four, Hunter Pigman at second base. Mason McElorn. That's a lot of people had him pegged to pitch the game tonight. Yes. Um, out at third, Dave Elkins. At first, Garrett No. Pitching tonight, Jacob Daniels, who I heard was sick earlier today, so we'll see how that turns out. Out in center, Dustin Fields, designated hitter tonight in the lineup, Connor Combs, and uh, at catcher, Nolan Wooten, and out in left field, we have Luke Sandler. Yeah, looking for this, we're going to see some good matchups here tonight. These two teams, when especially rivalry, and you just have some good baseball, no question about it. Absolutely. Great atmosphere here for the 54th District Tournament. Looks like we will be stepping away very shortly here for the playing of the National Anthem, or perhaps we will not. No, we're going to go ahead, and looks yeah. like they're going to meet at home plate. Yeah, And we're going to play some baseball. So real quick, we'll go over some of the earlier meetings from this season. Hazard and Perry Central have met twice and, on the year. And, Devin, uh, the first round game tonight, let's congratulate oh, the yes. Leslie County Eagles, a big win over Buckhorn, yep. and they'll move on to the championship game to face the, the winner of there. here. Yeah. Hazard and Perry Central met twice this season. First game, a blowout, but a high-scoring affair on both sides. Perry comes away with a 22-8 win in six innings in that one, and then met one more time, a 5-3 win for Perry Central. That one a much closer affair, and this one tonight, in all likelihood, will be even closer if the Wiley coach Meehan has anything to say about it. Hard to beat an experienced coach in tournament time, especially if he's got a good club behind him. Yeah, he's, he's had a lot of success in uh, tournament play, John has. He's not always been the favorite, but seemed like he's pulled them off in the tournament. So well, Quite a few in a row. Yeah, here too. yeah, he's he's on a good row, and, you know, a one-game scenario, you never know. And Coach Willis, a very experienced experienced baseball player. He oh, played yeah. here. He Set played some records over at Lincoln Memorial as well. Absolutely, and he comes back, and uh, 
his club will be ready, no question about it. Absolutely, your officiating crew for tonight at home plate, Spurlock, a very experienced official back there. Yes. Uh, Dirk Flincham uh, will be over on the first baseline, Hall at the second base, and Richards out at third base. So four-man crew for the district tournament tonight and an experienced crew, even oh, more important. Oh, absolutely. These guys have been in uh, a lot of baseball games, no question about it. Good yep. crew, and they'll do a great job, no question about it. Folks, the home plate meeting is on. They'll warm yeah. up the starting pitcher, and we'll get things yeah. about, started off here. About 68 degrees right yeah. now, somebody mentioned. Uh, no wind. Uh, it's perfect baseball weather. It feels real good out. So great weather for uh, – our crowd, who's here, Devin, got a great crowd and uh, a lot of hot dogs and cokes oh, going yeah. around. And so, uh, and we also want to thank uh, the athletic director, Bobby Dixon, for yep. all his hospitality oh, yes. and getting us set here and getting us a uh, good seat here right behind home plate and taking care of hometown 24. We really appreciate him. Absolutely. We'll take a short break as they warm up the pitcher and we'll start things off here in about 30 seconds on hometown 24. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. And we're back here at Commodore Field getting ready to start things off top of the first. On the mound for the Bulldogs, Sawyer Patrick. Yeah, Patrick uh, got good speed. He'll mix it up. He has change up is good. Got a good curveball. Likes the corners. So uh, pretty nice pitcher. John Meehan throwing one of the best oh, yeah. on the Bulldogs oh, both, squad. Both teams trying to bring their A game tonight. They got yeah. the righty on the mound here for the Bulldogs. Yeah. Being watched and the the batter's out trying to get that timing and you'll yeah. always see that. And it looks like the Commodores will get ready to start here and coming up for them will be Hunter, Hunter Pigman. Pigman. He's a shortstop and look yep. for some speed there. He can lay the bunt well. I was talking with Coach Willis a little early. He's very impressed with the season that Pigman has had for the Commodores. Oh yes, good leadoff batter coming up here for the Commodores. And He'll step into the box, and here we go. It's baseball time here yep. yes, at Commodore it is. Field. And Beautiful facilities here as well. Absolutely. Shout out to the crew, Absolutely. the grounds crew here at Commodore Field. Righty versus righty to start things off here. Yep. Bigman will step in as he gets ready. Patrick on the mound, and uh, I'm glad Devin Combs is with me tonight. We're going to share uh, the broadcast with us okay. and have a good time. First pitch is underway from Commodore Field. Ooh, big rip at that one. <laughs> yep. Strike one. 0 oh, and 1 count. Hunter was aiming for center field yeah, fence he was. with that, Devin. Don't think he was just trying to hit base there. Second pitch underway, and Hunter misses this Another one a little behind rip. the pitch of Patrick. And he is swinging hard right now. It's hard, odd to see yeah. a leadoff man kind of swinging so much to start things off here. You know, those pitches have been right there to bailed high. And, a lot of uh, times they'll take that first yeah. pitch, though. Uh, that's oh, three. Oh, him up. Right on the corner and one out away for the Bulldogs. One out. McAlarnis will come up the bat. Mason, the second baseman for the Commodores. Good tall batter here. Big yeah. batter box. Patrick getting ready. Releases. And there's the curve. And it dismisses outside. Good take there, I think. For yeah, I think so, too. A little bit more patience here. I think uh, Coach Willis was kind of preaching a little patience after the first bat bat there. Yep. There's the ball fouled back. back. That's one of the ones that makes the crowd jump. Absolutely. Glad you're joining us for high school baseball right here on Hometown 24. Glad to have you along tonight. Here's the pitch from Patrick nice and a strike. drive left, left field. field. Coming in the Bulldog and making the play is Miller for Hazard. And we got two outs. 
Elkins. Elkins will come up to bat. He's the third baseman for the Commodores. Patrick's pitching has, he's really relied on the fastball so far. Oh, yes. And there's the curve as we talk and he gets a strike on the corner. Nice for drop there. Hazard. Elkins will get ready to stand back in. Two outs here in the top of the first at Commodore Field. One and one will be the count after that one. Yep. That dropped low yeah. and uh, trying to get him to chase it. Oh, yeah. Devin. Elkins ready. Patrick's pitch upstairs and he goes yeah, anyway. Up. And uh, nice pitch there by Patrick. Nobody on, two outs here, and kind of quick work for the top of the first so far. I, I expect good pitching out of both both of these ball clubs. Yeah. Pitch is low, Got gets away, away from, from the catcher. Even count, now two and two. And he's really trying to work that low ball against the, the batter here. Yeah. Elkins in that three spot, they, they know he likes to try to take it a little deep here, and they're giving him a lot of low balls to swing at. If we get to the cleanup, man, it'll be Garrett No. Yep. Elkins gets the bat on it, and right. it's going to right field on its back. Right fielder, and he, and he makes it. the play. And that'll do it. One, two, three for the Commodores. No score, Head to the bottom of the first when we come back. Woo, Papa John's just took that fresh, never frozen dough and hand stretched it into thin, oversized New York style slices. I mean, look at that crust. That is the perfect crust thickness no matter how you eat it. So you can fold it or not. But I ain't gonna lie though, I fold it. <laughs> Get a New York style pizza from Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Half an inning in the books, and it's nothing on the floor. Nobody made it to base in the top of the first, and it's the Commodores on defense as we head into this one. Coming up for Hazard, Wyatt Hensley, the second baseman, Max Johnson, the shortstop, and Gus Mullins, the right fielder, yeah. will be coming up to bat for uh, Hazard. Hey, I was impressed with Patrick. Good speed. Uh, he make his pitches. He mixed them up. Hit the corners a lot, and uh, he also was throwing the uh, letter ball some. And the yeah. players just could not lay off that. So, Jacob Daniels on the mound now for the Commodores, and we'll see what kind of work he can get done. As, of course, you see the batters out there trying to get the timing on him as well. Beautiful Jacob, evening for baseball. Yep, Jacob Daniels on the mound for the Commodores. He also has some good heat that he'll bring. Yes, he and does. he will mix his pitches up as well. So uh, look for a good, we're just gonna have a tight knit ball game here. Oh yeah. No question. And first batter will step in and we'll get ready for another batter here. Number 12, Wyatt Hensley, second baseman, steps in. Looks like Hensley is getting ready to step in and uh, looks like we're ready for the bottom of the first to continue here. Southpaw hitter here. Wensley getting ready for the Commodores, Daniels. On the mound, first pitch. Hmm. Thinks about showing bunt to it. Now, Coach Meehan will play small ball. Oh, he loves some small he ball. He loves small ball. He will play it. Second pitch on the way. Foul off, one oh, and one foul. goes with a count. Yeah, right back at the uh, camera, old, old camera here. Yeah. Uh, it looks like our camera Miss that one. Yeah, just enough to make uh, everybody a little bit nervous. <laughs> uh, one and one's the count. Daniels brings it, and Atten's a little outside as it tells. Two and one goes to the count. Perry, no score in their first at bat. Hazard getting the opportunity. 
pitch. That looks Ooh, good. Nice one. And that one's there two and two as we even the count. I like that changeup. Very up. good pitch. Yep. Right Very good changeup. Two two. Fouled off. Count stays the same. Longer at bat to start this one off than we saw in the entire top of the first. Oh, yes. Yes. Perry went up very aggressive. Oh, yes. And I expect him to stay that way, Devin. Yeah. Willis was an aggressive player, known for stealing bases as well. Yeah. Kind of a record he might have set. Yeah. Nice one. This could be a base hit, and yep. it is. Could maybe be two. Here he goes. Left fielder bobbles the ball, and he's going to slide in at second with no play. And the Bulldogs have got something going here yeah. in the bottom of the first. That one bobble could cost you. Max Johnson, the shortstop, will come up to bat. Hensley making it to second on a nice, nice hit right over the first base line. Our first base runner of the contest. Yep, Daniels gets ready as Johnson looks bunt, but uh, he showed it, but yeah. <laughs> he did not go with it. 0 and 1, strike right there on the corner. Daniels getting ready. Here's the pitch. Nice pitch, and they're going to let that one roll foul. I like the bunt. Yeah. And uh, Coach Behan trying to there. get his runner to third, and uh, it's a good call. And he'll make the jog back to the batter's box here. Yep. Yeah. A little fundamental baseball. The second it crosses that line, you yeah. pick it up. <laughs> now, Coach Meehan will bunt. Oh, yes. And Bun Alton. Johnson. Steps getting back ready. Daniels getting ready with a pitch. Bottom of the first. No score yet in the game. Hazard with a runner at second. Ball's outside on the fastball. Tried to get him chasing a little bit there. Yeah, I think so. Daniels trying to settle in here a little bit. Yep. Daniels with a pitch, missed it inside, and that was very close, but didn't get the call. And two and two is the count as we even up. Johnson getting ready. Daniels on the mound. Tries to wave Hensley back a little bit here. Here's the pitch, and it's ground ball, ground and it's foul ball over the third baseline. Commodore field looks nice, Devin. Very the grass nice. Grass is superb. The field's really took care of well. Well taken care of facilities here. Yes. Baseball is a, a tradition for the Commodores. Absolutely. Daniel's getting ready, and here's the pitch, and it's a ground ball to short. He bobbles, oh, he bobbles it, it, and nobody's out, and it looks like Johnson will make it uh, to first base, and Hazard, two base runners, on and, the corners now yep, for the Bulldogs. And Murray gets their first error of the game. And no outs. Nope, no outs. And uh, a runner at first and third, and that's put Mullins a great opportunity here. The right fielder coming up. And uh, Gus just needs to put the bat on the ball. No outs. For the Bulldogs, that pitch is a strike oh, yeah. and will not make the That's throw. A, and there you've got a stolen base for Johnson as he'll move on down to second. Now you've got a runner at second and third scoring position on a base hit. So Dangerous situation here for the Commodores early. Yeah. Got in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah. They want to try to get a ground ball or a strike out here. Hopefully that's one right there. And, and, two here. and if you're the Bulldogs, you want to yep. put the bat on the ball and see what happens. Much needed out potentially here for the Commodores. 0-2 to count. 
Catcher setting up on the outside. That's Wooten doing the catching job. There's a hit ball to short. He goes the first. We got one out and, and one Bulldogs as Hensley will come in to score for Hazard. And one nothing Bulldogs here in the bottom of the first. And runners. Yep. Patrick, the pitcher, batting the cleanup spot. That's oh, fouled off. Didn't mean to catch it there, actually. Yeah. Coach Meehan not liking Patrick's bun attempt. No, not. You he know. handle rating his players in. He, he yeah. plays a very structured team. Yeah. Structured yeah. ball is the Daniels that's how he plays. On the mound for the Commodores. Patrick in the box for Hazard and it's fouled off. Foul back. And it's 0-2. Patrick getting himself behind Devin with, yeah. I thought he had an opportunity on that first bunt attempt, and I have to agree with Coach Meehan. I don't think he he moved his bat forward any and uh, didn't get anything out of the ball. Nurse strike three. Oh, right him up for strike three. Yeah. That was a good pitch by Daniels as uh, right there, and Patrick goes down and uh, Coach Meehan, not much to say about him. Duff will come up. He's the first baseman for the Bulldogs. One out, and there's a strike on the corner. And Daniel's trying maybe finding a rhythm here. Two down here in the bottom of the first. That ball missed, low and away. Count goes to one and one. One nothing hazard if you're just joining us. Bottom of the first. Daniels bringing the heat. Ooh. Safe, no swing there. Did not commit on that one, so two and one goes the count with two outs. First base umpire with the call there, and the crowd not happy with it. Uh, no, I think these young ladies sitting over from us yeah. thought that was a strike. And there's a ground ball, and it looks like it. it Short's got a throw to first, but not in time. He's safe. And Hazard's Bulldogs gets their second run of the ball game in as Johnson comes across the plate. And things gotten a little out of hand here for the Commodores yep. early. Yeah. Those are the Bulldogs, number eight, Gage Logan. Logan will come up to bat, Gage. He's the third baseman for the Bulldogs, and the first pitch is right there as a strike as Daniel's little heater there. Two outs, one runner on, and two have crossed here in the bottom of the first. Tough ending for the Commodores to start things off. Yes, it is. And that one was low and away. One and one is the count. <laughs> two outs. And Bulldogs leading two nothing. Bottom of the first. If you're just joining us, glad to have everybody along. Ball's fouled back. Oh, wow. Yep. Logan trying to drive that one to the gap and right there. Yeah. Just made his, dropped his foot. And Wanted to put something on that one, but uh, Daniels, I think Daniels is, is not pitched bad. He's he's brought some heat. Uh, his infield's got to make the plays, Devin. And, and that's strike three, we'll yes. A little outside curve pitch gets Logan, and that's going to do it for the end. And Hazard gets two. He's starting. We'll be back for the top of the second. Two nothing Bulldogs. Here at Thacker Grigsby and TVS, we're committed to building a better future for our community. In these times, being connected is more important than ever, and we're working every day to keep you online and in touch with the world. For generations, we've been a part of this community, and we're proud to serve this community for many generations to come. 
Thacker, Grigsby, and TVS, working for a better future for Eastern Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. Quick though, really. And we are back here at Commodore Field. Two nothing Hazard after one complete. Hazard back up on the mound is Sawyer Patrick and the Commodores have got a lot to try to answer as they went three up, three down in a hurry in the top of the first. But we will see some muscle step up to the batter's box with Garrett No. Yeah, Prairie Central's got to get something started, Devin. They one, two, three in the first, as you mentioned. No, Daniels, you mentioned Phils. They got to start. You, can, you can't get behind in yeah. one of these games a lot. If you do, it's a hard way back. No question about it. No, we'll get ready to stand in. Patrick's still on the mound for the Bulldogs. A little change up there and strike one. Patrick will throw the curve more than Daniels will. Yeah. Oh and one. Next pitch. That ball's going to be fouled off, and it goes to back to the mountainside. Oh and two here in the top of the second from Commodore Field. A crisp, cool May night for oh, yes. high school baseball. And that one off the foot of the catcher. It's going to be a one and two now. Yep. Patrick getting ready. That one's upstairs a little too high. And it count goes to even at two and two. Big Strike three as he took something off on that one. One out. Up for the Commodores now will be the pitcher, Jacob Daniels. And one out here in the top of the second. Daniels goes after the high fastball, let her high. 0 oh 1 to get started. Right down the pipe, strike two, and Patrick seems to have good speed in this early of this baseball game. He's uh, very, he has a lot of confidence in his fastball right now. <laughs> and there it is, but that one's low, and he wanted that one, but he's not going to get it. Hazard Faithful wanted that one. Yes, they did. One out, one, two is the count. Daniels in the bat, and that'll be three. And Commodores right now are having a hard time putting the bat on the ball of Patrick. Up to bat now is Fields for the Commodores. Dustin Fields. Patrick's pitch, strike to get him started. Two out, 0-1 oh, count. Fields the batter. Patrick the pitcher, and that one missed outside. One and one count evens up. And there's a letter high fastball. One, two with two outs. Seem like the Commodores, Devin, are a little bit behind in their swing yeah. right now. Yeah, their their timing is yeah. throwing them way off here. And there's the third pitch and Patrick just wears, rears back and throws the heater. Two nothing hazard. We'll take a quick break here at Commodore Field. We'll be back for the bottom of the second when we 
At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am a daughter. I am a father. I am employed. I am a mother. I am ambitious. I am a work in progress. I am an innovator. I am an HCTC graduate. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to kylshall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I will review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. One and a half in, and the Bulldogs lead 2-0, and they're back up to bat. The Commodores have been very aggressive in the box and have been unable to make any contact. They've gone three up, three down twice now. Yes, they have, Devin. They've, uh, Commodores have, you know, they've not went deep in any account. They've, they've been right there, and they've had early swings, and they're playing aggressive. So we'll see what happens as the game continues on. First pitch is a strike to Davison as he's the catcher for the Bulldogs. And there is a drive to the left field. It's gonna drop and it could be extra bases as it gets away from the left fielder, uh, Perry Central. Oh, he's Sandler, turning for third. And he's going for third and they got he is oh, safe. He's safe. Slid under the tag. Wow. Yeah. That was close. Very close. Yes, it was. Commodore faithful, very upset right yeah. now. But you know, you, you kind of put yourself in those spots, Devin, by not making simple, simple routine plays and you get, it gets to be a hard play. So you gotta feel the baseball. Already a runner in scoring position. Yeah. Miller will come up to bat for Hazard. He's the left fielder. First pitch is low and away. Hazard with a runner at third. Yeah. Oh, my. No outs. Mm, a little trying for that small ball. The meat hand. Yeah. It doesn't surprise us at all with a small ball. No question about it. Count goes to one and one. On Miller of Hazard. And Daniels getting ready to bring it. Here's a it. hit to right field. It's called Snag. Hazard will come on in on the tag and go three nothing on the scoreboard. And uh, excellent job by Miller. Sacrifice fly deep to right field and he gets the job done. And they're, they're playing edgy, Devin. They're, they're bobbling the ball and doing, you know, some missed throws and they've got to settle down. And they've got time to do that. Daniels maybe but looking a little bit frustrated. But you can't get behind a good pitcher so many run, you know what I'm saying. There's a strike. Count goes to one and one. Pelfrey in to bat for Hazard. That one was inside, it goes to two and one. Daniels. Mm, quit chasing that one. Yep. 2-2 two, two count. One out. Bottom of the second. Nice change up. Two down. Top of the order as White will come back up for Hazard.
Kitsley will step up. Another uh, southpaw batter here. Oh, yeah. White gets ready, and there's the pitch outside. 1 and 0. Misses there. 2 and 0. Two and zero, the count with two outs, nobody on right now. Hazard's already crossed one. Here's the pitch. That one trying to get him swinging high. He's going to run it three zero here, and most likely we will not see a swing on this one, but we will see. Nope, that one low. He's going to walk one. Max Johnson up next for the Bulldogs of Hazard. Or is this Logan? No, this is Max Johnson, shortstop. First pitch on the way. Pop up fly. Heads up to the crowd. Everybody gets out the way. And that'll be 0 oh and 1 the count after that one. And a little bit of a heads up shot heading towards the crowd there. So everybody collects themselves, and we're back at it here. 0 oh and 1 the count with two outs, nobody on. Oh, excuse me, runner on first. I apologize. And a little check throw to first does not get the runner. Daniels from the Commodores. Trying to find a little bit of a rhythm here. Here comes the pitch. That one's cracked. Foul ball up the third baseline. And looks like it'll be an 0-2 count now. Yep, 0-2, two outs, and uh, ha Hazard. So far, swing the bat well tonight, Dad. Very well. They're getting Hit a lot the, of contact here. Yeah, but now also you've got to realize I think also had, uh, Commodores didn't make some plays that they normally should have made as well. And looks like Johnson calls for time and step out of the box here for a second, recollect. Runner on first two outs here. Commodores trying to get an out and get out of this. Yeah. Down by three right now. He likes the signal. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. <laughs> Count remains 0-2. Johnson <laughs> scored last time up, knocked in, and uh, made the second run for the Bulldogs there in the first inning. And now... Johnson's one of those players, uh, very aggressive athlete, Devin. Very aggressive, yes. Plays very hard for the Bulldogs. And there's a grounder. Little grounder to second. They don't try to turn the double or turn the play at second. And, and they bobble, bobble it. it. And this has been the story. So and a runner nine. advances to third. Yeah, I have, uh, Commodore's just not making those routine plays. And that will get you in district tournament play, no question about it. Commodore is struggling three nothing right now score to find and, any kind of rhythm. Yeah, three nothing score and Hazard here threatening again a base hit again. Well, put a notch on the scoreboard. And we're going to get an infield meeting here. Daniels has pitched a pretty good ball game. He's, he's just not getting backed up, David. Yeah, they're getting they're getting the kind of contact that you can catch off of, but some outfield errors. And they are making a lot of contact yeah. off of him right now, too. So we'll see what the decisions are here. I don't expect them to take the ball out of his hands right now. Maybe just a little head check. No, I wouldn't think so. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's pitching well. Like yeah, he's pitching well. I mean, your defense has got to back you up. 
you know, the ball's been hit right at them and they're just not making routine plays right now. And that's the thing about one and out baseball that's so hard to deal with. Uh, at every other level, you, you, you play a series, especially at the in the majors, you know, they play seven game series. It, it, it's so hard to make it a perfect night every night. And once you start here in this first round of district, you, you have to get out of the first round of district. And in the 54th, they draw. Oh, so yeah. You, yeah. You're going to draw, you know, one of your longest standing rivals. And uh, according yeah. to the records, is you're the number right. two team. So, you're right. number one versus number two yeah. in the first round of district. Somebody's going home. And the collective 14th region takes a sigh of relief after tonight, regardless of who wins. Yeah, you're right. Um, you know, would we like to see high school baseball go to a district play where you have to lose two to be out? I think a two out of three would be a very, you know? a very reasonable. Yeah. Well, it's officially the last day of school for Perry County Schools. I believe Hazard's already out I, as well. Most yeah. of the districts yeah. are out. Pitches inside. And, and runner breaks. They might have him here. Nope. Throws off the bag. So. And they had a chance to get yeah. the out there. Yeah, they did. I think Wooten, the catcher uh, for Purry, did not think he was going down. And when he did, he really didn't get his foot set well to make that throw on down. Daniels on the mound. Low in the dirt. Runner at second and third for Hazard. Already leading three nothing and a hit here would put Commodores yeah. in a rough situation. Two out. Daniels sends. That's a strike, strike down the pipe. He needed that strike right there yeah. to get back in here. Try to get control yeah. of this inning. Absolutely. Mullins, the batter for Hazard. Daniels on the mound for the Commodores. Oh, and he goes outside. to three and one with the ball telling outside. He's trying to get that two seamer there. Looks like a little bit working, but it's, it's dropping too early on him. Mullins getting ready for Hazard. Daniels. Wind up coming. Big rip there to take Three, it to count two. full. Count goes full, David. Three, two. Strike to end it or a base hit to score another run for the Bulldogs. Daniel springs the heat and it trails outside and the bases are loaded. Mm, he did Bad not want news. that. Bases are loaded with two outs, and the Bulldogs. Patrick, Patrick struck out first time up for Hazard. Patrick is the cleanup hitter in the lineup, so we know he has the bat. Could be very bad news for the Commodores here. Commodores need to make a good play here and get out of this and still have an opportunity. That's a strike on the corner as it tailed in. Going to throw a lot of strikes here. Yeah, you got <laughs> to. You know, high school baseball, Devin. Can't take too many if chances. If you're a pitcher, throw strikes. Uh, <laughs> that's always a good sign. You're a pretty good baseball team. You got to. He gets There's, a little grounder here, and it should be the out. And it is. And, and it is. It. But Hazard gets another run, and it goes to three to nothing. We'll be starting the third when we return. Here at Hometown 24 and TVS Cable, we care about the community. And while you might not see the same familiar faces you're used to seeing, know we're still here. Bringing you live high school sports straight to your living room. 
do you qualify for $30 off your Thacker Grigsby or TVS broadband bill through the Affordable Connectivity Program? If you participate in certain federal government funded programs, yes, you can start your qualification process by going to acpbenefit.org and click on the blue apply now button or call our office at 606-785-9500 or stop by one of our locations in Jackson, Whitesburg, Hazard or Heinemann. And we are back. We got two complete in the books, and it's 3-0 Bulldogs. And a just a great start to the game for Hazard squad under Coach Meehan. Yeah. Uh, uh, they've been such a terror in the region for such a long time now, and the last few seasons especially have been just so good for them. Um, even last season when a lot of people didn't, really didn't I have I didn't have pick, many. I didn't but have they, them they, pick they found a way. Yeah. I mean, so that goes to show you don't. Don't ever discard John Meehan's Bulldogs. This, this don't you do it. You never can. No. Yeah. Great coaching wins yeah. championships. That's all you can say about it. Yeah. John, a very classy guy. He really is a good guy. And Dwayne Will Willis doing an excellent job with the Commodores this season as well. Getting ready for the top of the third. And the Commodores will send up Homer Combs will do DH batting for them, and uh, this will be Comer's first time up tonight. So, but Perry just needs to get something going, get some yeah. people on the base pass, and see if they can get some runs in. Patrick will stay on the mound for Hazard. First pitch, and it's down to pop, but it's low, and it's one and zero. Oh. A good looking pitch there coming yeah. down. Yeah. But yeah. Patrick has just done a terrific job of not giving up much contact, and the contact he does give up isn't yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, he is keeping the ball low on uh, Combs. I noticed that. First pitch was on the outside corner, second pitch inside, yeah. off the inside corner. He's not going to give him a whole lot. That's down the pipe, and that'll be a 2 1 count. That's a strike. Very good pitch there. Yeah. I like the first two as well, but good patience here. We're starting to see some patience out of the Commodores. Yeah. Next pitch is straight up. Hit. North hit. South. Very, very high. Shortstop coming in, and he's going to make the play. Yep. For Have to make that play. Yep, that was Johnson. Took control there. Not a lot of north south pop ups like that. That one went <laughs> directly, <laughs> directly north, didn't it? Yeah. It did. One out here in the top of the third. Catcher coming up to bat for Perry, Nolan Wooten. And the and Commodores out, top have of the not third. had a lot of luck. No, no, no. Perry's still looking for that base runner. Crowd fired up on both sides of the ball here. Patrick backs off, comes back on the mound, and Wooten will get reset. One out. That Ooh, pitch that is high. high. A little and bit of a knee buckler there. Yeah. Yep. It doesn't matter how far that one is away from your head, it will make you jump every yeah, oh time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That uh, one's low, and it's 2 0. Yep. An 80 mile an hour projectile flying anywhere <laughs> within about 15 feet of my head. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that to you. Wooten being very careful as he's trying to get the Commodores a base runner. And that's down the pipe for strike one, two, one count. Three nothing Bulldogs in the top of the third. And he's swinging at about anything within reach on that 2-0. That's uh it's a high one. That's that's Patrick's pitch. He likes yep. that pitch. He likes that letter high fastball. Yep. He's hits uh, batters love it. Yeah. But it's hard to catch. Very hard to do yep. a lot with yep. even when you do make that contact. Two two. two. And that will be number three. So the catcher could not get to it. Wooten and he'll go down on strikes. Two outs. The Bulldogs and have been dominating on the mound. Yep. Boy, Patrick, he is already in position, ready to go here. He's feeling it. He's warm. 
Number He's 16 is Brom coming up, and here's the pitch, and it's a strike. Dustin Brown on the mound for, I mean in the box for Commodores. Patrick sends that one outside and it's 1-1 one, one count here in the bottom of the third. There's a fastball down the pot, one and two. A strike away from keeping the Commodores scoreless in three here. Yep. Patrick's just been tough on that mound, and he strikes out again, and he's just feeling it. Yes. Coming back for the bottom of the third, it's all Bulldogs so far. Three nothing from Commodore Field. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at TimShortAutoGroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. And we are back here at Commodore Field. A change on the mound for the Commodores. Mason and McAlarnis, Big Mac on the mound, coming off of second base. And I'm not sure yeah. the move around here, but. Uh, yeah, McAlarnis, a, a good size young yeah. man. Got some hype and Trying to see, looks where Daniels went to. And I'm not seeing Daniels I do not on see the Daniels field. He may be in the, the not on the field, but maybe inserted him back in as the DH. Yeah, he's too good an athlete yeah. not to be involved. So Big Mac will warm up on the mound here, and we'll see a change in pitching style for the rest of the game here for the Commodores, and they've got to get this one under control. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Glad you're with us for high school baseball right here on Hometown 24. District tournament play. This is the first round of the 54th district. Leslie County beating Buckhorn earlier tonight. And now we have the Commodores and Bulldogs going at it. The winner will meet Leslie County in the championship game of the district. And right now it's Hazard's it's Hazard's way right now, unless the Commodores can yeah. get going. They've had a very strong showing to start things off here. And looks like Dawson Duff will step up to bat here for the Bulldogs. Yep. Duff will lead off for Hazard here. And, uh, you know, Duff, a uh, good shooter on that basketball oh, team. Yeah. Did a good job for the. Bulldogs. A lot of talent on both sides of the field here tonight. Oh, absolutely. McAlarance brings a little soft curve uh, change up and uh, Hazard out in front of that one as Duff Has swung, swung a little very early. low there. Yeah, very early. So, and oh and one. Pitch on the way and it's right there for strike two. And this could be the change of pace the Commodores need. Yes, again. I mean, you know, and again, we go back, Devin. I thought I thought uh, Daniels pitched some yeah. good pitches, and they just didn't make the play defensively to happy. And that a lot of speed there as Duff goes down on strikes here in the bottom of the third for that first out. That's going to bring up Gage Logan. Yep, Gage will come up and uh, plays third base for the Bulldogs. 
McElhern's on the mound for the Commodores, and he looks good, but tails outside. 1-0. and oh. A lot of the fans in the stands having a little fun tonight. I, I think the... I think the girls over here, are the fans, has been calling yeah. that, and I don't know if the umps listen to them. A Here's little a grounder ground here. Could be a base hit, and, and it's going to be. be a base hit. Logan gets his first hit of the night. And now catcher will come in to bat as Braxton Davison. Yeah, that's a playable ball there, and the Commodores have kind of let a lot of playable balls get by on the night. Yeah. And with one out, runner at first. A little bit of lead over there. Here's the, the bunt. bunt. It's a nice bunt. And he's going to make it on as a runner at first and second. Perfectly executed on the bunt. The small ball is working yeah. for the Bulldogs. Yeah, it is. Patient base running here as well. One out, two on. Miller, the left fielder, will come in. A big sacrifice fly to right field the last time he was up. So yeah, and this, it could do this, a lot of work again here. Yeah, this guy can lift the baseball now. So, And the Bulldogs looking like a team to reckon with right now. You know, we got to talk to the staff at Hazard before the game, David, and they were they were just blunt. They said there's a lot of teams can win this region on this one game scenario. Oh yes. They mentioned Estel, pretty good ball club, and uh, Letcher Central, and uh, they said Knotts played well at times this year, and uh, Brathit. So who knows? Wolf, a very good baseball oh, yes. team. They play well, so. One of those. Pitches right there. Ooh, and strike. they call the strike. And one and one as we even up. So two on, one out. Yep, Miller. One, one count. Miller in the batter's box for Hazard. Flat out the last time up, deep to right field. McElhern springs the heat, but uh, tails down low, and 2-1's the count, 3 nothing score, Bulldogs here in the bottom of the third. And the Bulldogs have really been in control of the game since the first pitch here. Yes, they have. Commodore's trying to find a little bit of some rhythm here. Here comes the pitch, ground ball to the third baseman. He steps on third for one out and over the first for a double, double play. play. Nice play. The third baseman, uh, Furry Central, Elkins making a big play there. Three nothing, Hazard, we'll be back. Appalachian Wireless puts service, towers, and technology in areas that other carriers won't. With almost 300 towers in our 29 county coverage area, we know for our communities to grow, they have to have connectivity to succeed. That's why Appalachian Wireless's primary focus is to provide support and service to communities that are in our coverage area. Advancing the gap between technology and communities is our goal of providing a better tomorrow for Appalachia. We are the region's best and most reliable network. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. And we're back here, 3-0 Hazard. After three complete, we head into the fourth, and the Bulldogs have been dominant on both sides of the ball so far in this one. A pitching change for the Commodores in the last inning did kind of yeah. rein in the uh, problems. Well, you know, Hazard has filled the baseball. Perry Central in the first couple of innings did not feel clean baseball, and it costed them some. And Hopefully that can change for them. Hopefully they can get back on making the plays and get back into this game. Yeah. Is 3 nothing a big 
deficit? Not really. Not in baseball. But it <laughs> is a good deficit if your pitcher is pitching well. Yes. So we'll see. Patrick the, is so far has been able to find the strike zone very well. Yeah, the Commodores have, have not been able to put more than four batters yeah. up in an inning to this point. Yep. Hunter Pigman will lead the Commodores off. Striked out his first time up here, top of the fourth, if you're joining us from Commodore Field, 50 field, 54th District 54th. Baseball Tournament. They've changed them around on us a few times in the Oh, past. they have. Patrick's first pitch is down the Boy, pipe for a strike, and uh, Commodores have have been slow catching up to the baseball tonight, Devin. Yes. Little impatient. Yeah. Oh one to count. Bonnetel is showing the bus. Yep. Oh two the count to Pigman. Patrick on the mound for Hazard. Commodore's in uh, danger of losing another early out here. Right on the corner and good speed. I yeah. mean, it was right there. And uh, Hazard just not catching up to the fastball right now. Not a lot you can say about that other than a good pitch yeah. and just no contact from the Commodores. That's kind of been the story of the game for them yeah. so far tonight. Yeah. Pitcher, Mason McElorna steps up. McElorna's in there and that, that curve gets away from Patrick. 1-0 count. A little low and outside. Fans trying to get them swinging. Fans being very interested in the game, Devin. They're, yeah. they're patient and making their voice be known whenever possible. Great to see a big turnout for baseball here in yeah, the district. absolutely. Patrick burns the heater on the inside corner for strike one. One and one. McAlarnis looks like he can go yard in this field pretty easily. Uh, he's not thrown a whole lot of pitches, to be honest with yeah. you. He's been right on target, and uh, we'll get his pitch count here in just a second. And I tell you, he's, he's pretty safe. Yeah, yeah, he's been right in the zone. That one's low on the tail end of the way. Yeah, he hasn't had a lot of long at bats. No. Uh, and hasn't spent a lot of time. Hasn't seen a lot no, of batters. No full count batters. No. None. So. Oh, two and one the two count. Two one the count. 3-1 the count, that misses low. And this has been the, really the first at bat that's kind of got away from him a yeah, little bit. But yeah. he's trying to get McElorna swinging on the outside here. Top of the fourth from Commodore Field. And that one looks right there on the inside corner. And I tell you, McElarnes may have thought that was a uh, inside a little yeah, too he, far, but he was uh, ready to uh, yeah, walk there. Yeah. Here it is, and he's going to keep the at bat alive right back at the camera. Yeah. Nearly gets wait. a hold of it. There. Yeah. And uh, we apologize for the camera shot, folks. We'll have to get that adjusted for you after this at bat. And there's a change and up, yeah, and it's going to get him. Up. Two outs, top of the fourth. And Commodore still looking for their base runner in the ball game. Elkins, the third baseman for the Commodores coming up. Strike on the corner by Patrick, and it's 0-1 to get started. Had to do a little maintenance there, so we got yeah. everything under north. 3 nothing Bulldogs here in the top of the fourth. Patrick, oh, that, there's that fastball, yeah, and, and he's used it quite well tonight. Patrick has pitched an incredible yeah. game so far. One and two count. Patrick getting ready, change up. That's a base hit in the gap to center, and the Commodores are in business here. Top of the fourth, trying to get something going with two outs. 
You got to start somewhere, damn it. Yes, the first time the Commodores have really seen much success. Yeah. I thought Patrick put that ball, let up, and it didn't break. And it was just, yeah. it didn't have any movement on it at that time. And so, no will come to bat for the Commodores. No, a big bat here. First baseman outside. And they the nearly first. catch him off the bag. Yeah. Davidson firing that ball down there, the catcher of Hazard. Commodore's trying to get back in this one. Yep. Yes, Big they knock are. here could do it. There's the heat on the corner, and that's even the count at one and one. And I got to say that Patrick has not given up much at all to the Commodores. Tonight. Nope. Got two down. Foul ball. Almost got the camera, not hardly. Yeah. And they are they are launching them right at it tonight. Yes, they are they, they are bound are. and determined. Yes, they are. No, getting ready for the Commodores. Patrick brings it. Fly that ball one's center. Deep in the center, and it's going to be caught. It's going to be caught with two outs, and that will make it three. No score, but the Commodores do get a base runner this inning. Three nothing. It's all hazard so far. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available, whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home, too. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. Three and a half in the books. Yes, it is. And so far, you know, the Bulldogs have made plays and the Commodores have not. So, no. uh, you know. Excellent Bennett. pitching tonight from Sawyer Patrick from the yeah. Bulldogs. He's in A lot impeccable. of confidence. Fastball's yeah. working real well. Change up his curveball. But he's not had to throw a lot of curveballs or change up. No. His fastballs have been right there. And, and the Commodores are having trouble catching up to it. So as we head to the bottom of the fourth, the Bulldogs are going to step back up to bat. McAlarnis took over on the mound for the Commodores in the third and yeah. did rein in the Bulldogs for their first scoreless yeah. inning of the contest so far. Yeah. Hank Pelfrey will get ready to center fielder. Pelfrey steps up, and we are back in action here, bottom yeah. of the fourth. Pelfrey. And McAlornis looks like he thought about stepping off the rubber there for yeah. a second. McAlornis getting ready to bring the heat and does. And they make big contact to start it off. Off the glove. It's going to be a double at least. Maybe a triple. Yeah. He's going to hold up at second. Good job getting back to the cutoff, man, for the Commodores. Yeah. Errors have hurt the Commodores tonight. This yep. not played defense well, Devin. Another playable ball and, got away from and them. And they've not played well from the start of the game playing defense. Yep. And it's got them in a spot. I don't think this team normally plays like that. No. But tonight it's it's been rough on them, you might say. They've just not been able to make plays. And we're going to see uh, – Coach from the Bulldogs run out to yeah. second here, maybe check on his player, just yeah. make sure he's okay. Yeah. Can help him get a little bit of a breather. I thought they might have been bringing in a courtesy runner for a sec. Yeah. Oh, 
And nice hustle. Step back in, and that's the thing about baseball. It's it's, another, it's like an avalanche. Once yeah. the first rock starts to fall, it does. It starts falling fast, and you yeah. you got to get ahead of it. Another error gets a bulldog runner to yeah. second base. Mac Lawrence on the uh, mound for the Commodores. White Hensley, third at bat for Hazard. And uh, back at the top of the lineup. Yep. Oh, he shows the bunt to it. And boy, yeah, Coach Meehan loves that, and though. It, uh, call it small ball. And, and, and it works. And he's going to. He's going to play it. He's, it would shock me if this bunt is not laid down towards the third baseman soft. Yeah. And this is some this is some tight infield grass here. You're going yeah. to get a little bit of a bounce off of a good bunt here. Yeah. It's not going to hit the grass and die like you see at some of the other fields. Yeah. It's not quite turf, but it's very close. Yeah. Runner second for Hazard. Hensley up to bat for Hazard and uh, runner. And they'll make Mason that check, bro. Yeah. Can you believe we're already in the bottom of the fourth right, inning? This, this one this has absolutely game? flown by. We're, we're only an hour into this one, and we're over the halfway point right now. And those last uh, three and a half tend to go a little bit faster sometimes. Yeah. Hensley will back out, call time. Priest, the Commodores not sure on the signal that Coach Willis was wanting there for the pitch. Hensley, the transplant from Hyden Way comes in. Yeah. There's the fastball. Big swing on that one. 0-2, Hensley a deep cut, but uh, no contact that time. Maca Lawrence getting ready. 0-2 count. Three nothing Bulldogs. Bottom of the fourth inning. Nice pitch and shortstop will have. And two. through the glove, and he's going to round and head home for the Bulldogs. Another run across. I mean, it's. It's uh, been one play after another. The Commodores just have not made plays. Things are not going well for the Commodores. We mentioned nope. that avalanche effect that can happen in baseball. It happens, and right it now happens. they're they're stuck yep. in the avalanche. And Hazard has put the pressure on them by hitting the baseball, putting it in play right at them. So, you know. Johnson will, the shortstop, will get ready to bat for Hazard. Hazard with a runner at first. And still and no outs and a disastrous start to the inning here yeah, for four, the Commodores once again. Yeah, 4 nothing score. And, you know, Devin, to be honest with you, at this level, these two teams, you get behind four or five runs and you got a mountain to climb. Absolutely. You know. And that was an at-bat that McLaurinus was ahead of. Yes. Yes, he was. And they're already they're teasing the bunt. Now, runner breaks on a dropped ball. He got behind and got the uh, ump. Got some of that one. And McLaurinus. Uh, and they're going to call the infield in here. Yeah. And that meeting is going to be yeah. called by Wooten. Yeah, he's going to call his boys in. Took the heat that time. Yeah. He's the one got got stinged right there. Kind of give him a second to walk <laughs> it off, make sure they're all right. Yeah. Spurlock at the home plate tonight, and uh, not all not all the abuse that the uh, umpires take is uh, verbal. Sometimes they take a little <laughs> physical abuse as well. <laughs> yes. Yes, and uh, and. You know, uh, that's not the first baseball that's no. got a hold of that man. No, I'm sure it's not. <laughs> he's, he's probably got hit by a few of them in his time. I mean, it's uh, it's a contact game. <laughs> it really it can be. A contact game. I mean, uh, we mentioned it earlier. Uh, about a 
you know, some of these young men, they, they're throwing in the low to mid-80s. And uh, yeah. that might not sound like a lot to a major league fan, but let me tell you, an 80-mile-an-hour projectile flying anywhere near your, any part of your anatomy yeah. is, is a pretty terrifying thing. <laughs> yeah. Took like a took a knock on the forearm there. Yeah. Looks like we'll get back and get started back. 1-0 count. Bottom of the fourth. Bulldogs leading four nothing. We'll see if it affects his uh his strike zone. <laughs> There's a change that was a up. Nice there. looking pitch coming in. Yeah. Had a little movement on it. Yeah. Well, I like the pitching from from both teams tonight, but uh, you know we we yeah. kind of mentioning Spurlock a lot, but two incredible pitchers here so far for the Commodores. Oh yes, they just some, some well. fielding errors uh, have like cost them a lot. We talked about you've got a, your defense has got to back you up. And I like the low there, trying to get him golf swinging at it a little bit. Yeah, you're on the one one count. And I think it's a good pitch to go to. To the pitcher, they should yeah. have two outs. Yeah, they should not have two outs. Two and one count now. There's the pitch. Nice one. Foul ball up the left field line. And right at the home Right at the crowd there, yeah. And it dodges a, another yeah. ball. Yeah, some, some folks in the crowd might have <laughs> caught a little bit of contact <laughs> there. And uh, oh. it's a price you pay yeah. to come to the ballpark sometimes. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and so far, the, the officials and the crowd have taken the a brunt of the abuse. Yes, they have. And it's a two and two count. Pitches upstairs, throw down to third. And they've got their man. And, and he slid under the tag. And a much needed out there for the Commodores. And made the play on him. He tried to slide under, but did not. Happened that time, but it's that's John, that's Coach Meehan ball. He, oh, yeah, he plays aggressive on the bases, and all he wants is the effort. He had nothing bad to say about the play, he got a good effort. Wow. Well, foul right. ball, yep, long at bat here. Max Johnson trying to keep it alive. Lines. Max uh, plays extremely hard. Seems to do a real good job at shortstop for this team, too. He's oh, made yes. two good plays tonight, and he's been right on target. The Bulldogs have had that success in the field that the Commodores have lacked in this Yeah. One. That one knocked out towards yeah. right field, and he is making some contact here, trying to get yeah. a hold of one. Yeah. Running the pitch count up on uh, Mason McAlarnis here a little bit yep. as well. Three two count. One out in the inning. And this inning has probably been longer than yeah. any so far. Big There's contact. A drive. Back, back. He's not going to get it in another play where the Commodores. Round in second, and he's well. going to hold up. Stand up double. Yeah. And uh, Coach Meehan sent Hensley while to go on the steal and uh, I'm sure the old coach would like to take that one back. Yeah, he kind of maybe wish he held on to <laughs> maybe, that one. But, but it is what it is. But a four run lead and we're in the yeah. bottom of the fourth and yeah. uh, the moral victory is well in favor of the Bulldogs right now and it's part of the game of baseball. You, you, you get a defense yeah. feeling like they can't do anything right, and sometimes that gets in their it head, is, yeah, it and, it, and it's hard to recover from that at any level. Well, it started right from the first end and the night, bobbling the ball, not letting play. Mullins up to bat for a hazard. And Runner on second, and, and a grounder. is going to be right there. Throw and it looks the like baseline, Johnson and two runners are coming Here's around. A play, and he's in. Bad news for the Commodores. Things keep coming up daisies for yeah. the Bulldogs. Max Johnson and now goes to five to nothing one out. And uh, Bulldogs has got the game in control right now, yeah. David. When it rains, it pours. Yeah. 
And are they giving credit to both runners there? Or did they get one of them? I, I would think that that one is an earned run, but I would think the one before that is an unearned run. So this should be six, right? No, should be five. Okay. Hensley got through out at third. Apologize, folks. Yeah. Trying to get our scores straight here. There's a fastball outside. And Throw they go down for the man second. at second. And, and it looks the like he's made the play, and he has. Nice throw. And uh, John Meehan being very aggressive this yeah. inning on the base pad. Two outs. And a five-run lead. You can kind of yeah. afford to start playing a little aggressive and like that. He's uh, he's not letting up. He's going to go, you know, so. Two outs now on the board. Score is 5 nothing. Inside pitch there, and it goes 2-0 oh to Patrick, who has pitched a great game for the Bulldogs so far tonight. 2-0, oh, make that 3-0 oh with two outs. And I, I would think Coach Meehan will not let him swing here. No. You don't tend to swing at that 3-0. No, I think he's going to uh, uh, let him take it. Here's the pitch down the pipe, and that's going to be a 3-1 count. And almost never will you see that swing. And it would surprise me if he doesn't take this one. There's the, ooh, he thought about it, and they're going to yeah. ring him up on it. Now he'll be, if it's there, he'll go at 3-2. But uh, well, he thought about that one anyway. He did. He thought about it. and uh, That one towards third, and it's caught for yep. the out. Elkins makes the play down at third, and we're going to the top of the field. Hazard leading 5 nothing. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Brought to you by Bank of Hyman, Thacker Grigsby, Paradise Pizza, Game On Hazard, Wicker Law Offices in Hyman, Hyman Land Auction Company, and TVS. And we are back here into the fifth inning, and the Bulldogs lead 5 nothing. It's been all hazard from the first pitch of this one, and off of the incredible work on the mound from Sawyer Patrick and some great fielding to back him up. He's only gave up one hit in the game and the Commodores yes. on the other side, uh, to their detriment, they've been unable to field the ball. The yeah. pitching has really kind of been there yeah. for them. They've just, it's just not been a comfortable game for them to field the baseball. And you mentioned that when you have a game like it, things just can keep happening oh, and yes. they have. Yes. And I don't know, you're down five nothing. The only way you get back in this game is put some runs on the board. Yep, you got to go on a big run here. You got to get some base runners on. I guess. It starts by getting somebody on first. Absolutely. And uh, Patrick's pitching has been so good. They've, you they've know. They've been able to do a lot of that at all. They've been able to do a lot of that. You're right. He's only given up one earned base hit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Commodores. Five nothing from Commodore Phil. And coming up to bat will be Skylar Chaney. Skylar Chaney comes in to play here. Coming out of the dugout here. First pitch, high ball one. I think Coach Willis is just looking for somebody to get them started, yeah. you know. Gotta, you got to start going through the lineup here and finding somebody who's going to make it work. Pitch outside, nice job framing up by the catcher, but he's not going to get the call as Davidson tried to 
reposition yeah. the ball. Did a nice job there, the I think, catcher. I think a little patience here is going to pay off for the Commodores if they can make it count. That one's a strike right there on the corner. And he's yet to even twitch at a ball so far. Yep, 2-1 is the count. And... Patrick sends the pitch, big rip. First one he takes a twitch at, and it's a big miss. Devin, he's got the rhythm going in his favor. He's just he's just got it going tonight, yeah. Fury. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way, and another big miss. Uh, I mean, they're not even fouling those off. Devin. They're not making much contact at, at all. all. Nope. It's going to bring up Dustin Fields out of center field. Yeah. And the Commodores have, have just absolutely struggled to get in this game at all on their home field. Check swing, and that's going to be a strike. Patrick has been very good with his off-speed pitches. Tonight. Yes, he has. And the, the communication... Yeah. Between him and Davidson has been incredible. 0-2 oh is that one right over the middle. He's got one another out. Commodore batter in big trouble here yeah, already. They're behind, and when you get behind, you have to be a little aggressive. And that one's fouled off. off. Keep the at-bat alive, and that's something the Commodores have really struggled with so far tonight. Top of the field from Commodore Field. They haven't ran many of these at-bats deep at all, and Patrick's really pitching fresh deep into the, the game here. That one mm, misses. That one close. Boy, it would have been hard to argue either call there. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody would have argued it, though. Yes. <laughs> Somebody would have. One and two Not count. us. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly right. Low, that's a strike, and yep. that's two, two up down, here. Man. That was too close to take, really. Yeah. Coming up to bat now for the Commodores is Comber Combs. He's the eighth spot for yep. Purry. Connor steps up here. As many of the other Commodores has not had a lot of luck at bat tonight. That one tries to get him on that inside, yeah. getting maybe golf swinging a little bit. Yep. Patrick putting a lot on that, but tailing inside as it comes on down the pipe. One and oh, and oh fouled back. Foul ball. And Out of play. Up. Yep. That one. All the kids run out of the stands and go after the foul ball. Absolutely. Baseball's baseball. Uh, no matter how big the stands are, how small the stands <laughs> are, there's ball outside of that field. There's going to be somebody you, run after it. You are right. The Bulldogs have took control of this one, and another one out of play. Yeah. Combs the battling here in the top of the field. Two outs, one, two count. Change ups right there, wins. but doesn't get the call. A little outside. Yeah. Close pitch, and uh, Benefit's going to go towards the batter on that one, but. Yeah. Spurlock's called it pretty tight. A little ripper, grounder. And yeah, that one's inside. At the very Com least, he, he's keeping the at-bat alive more yes. than what we've seen a lot yeah, of. Yeah, right. Combs uh, trying to get back in the box here and get ready with a 2-2 count, two outs. Top of the fifth. Patrick brings some heat, and it's outside. Full count. Only the second time Patrick has faced a full count from the mound tonight. I think Patrick a challenge Combs here, and yeah. he'll, he'll throw it down the pipe, see if Combs is ready. Nope, he got low, it. and he walks one. Not a lot of walks so far. Oh, that's number one. <laughs> yeah. Not, not a lot of walks on either side. No, oh, yeah. no, there's not. Commodores have only walked one on theirs yeah. as well. 
Almost every score tonight has been off of an error. I think only one earned run of the night for the Bulldogs. The rest off of errors. Wooten coming up, the catcher uh, for Perry Central coming in to bat here with two out. A base hit would be huge. You've yeah. got to start somewhere, as you mentioned, David. Yeah, it starts by get, getting on first yeah. and then finding something to do with it. Yeah. Get a hit. Drive it in the gap and keep keep things moving along. Here's Patrick's pitch, and it's right down the pipe for a strike. And this pitch selection has just been so on point tonight. Yeah. He's, he's put it exactly where he needs to more times than not. That was outside at low, and uh, that one might have be been a one, little bit of a, trying to get the runner off the bag yeah, there. It's going to be one-one count. Goes to two and one. And one of the longer innings so far for the Commodores, and already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brent Booth is going to step out here and have a word with the infield. And, well, yeah. he's not really in much trouble, but but maybe the coaching staff, they know their man much better than we do, and maybe they're seeing something you that, know, I, that I, they don't I necessarily think like. I think he's got away from his fastball some, too, and uh, I think he was trying to place the baseball, and I think they just wanted to settle him back down, tell him to, you know, throw his strikes, put some heat on it, and see if they hit him. Because they've not hit his fastball. Now. No, they have Period. struggled to make any kind of contact yeah. at all. But, you know, I like Patrick. He mixes it up way all here. Very talented young yeah. pitcher here. Wooten standing in, and that one's outside for ball three. And he's missing the strike zone on the low pitches. Yeah. I mean, he's way outside right now, so. Let's and see if the arm – I don't know how the arm could be tarred, Devin. I mean – could be, Maybe he doesn't pitch a lot of long, you know, longer not. games. I mean, he's had quick innings, uh, 11 pitches, uh, 10 pitches. He's had some real short innings. 3-1 pitch on the way. That one – ooh, that was a very close call on that one. And maybe a little bit of the benefit of the doubt on that one. Yeah. Commodore fans happy with it. Hazard. Braun coming up, number 16 for the Commodores. Hazard fans not particularly happy with that one. Yeah. But. Uh, and this is the first runner in a scoring position for the Commodores all night. Browning getting ready to stand in there. Patrick's pitch is low and inside. One and oh. I like the speed on it, but you know, he's uh he needs to let his defense make a play. They've played well tonight. There's the strike. One and one, two outs. Top of the field. A lot of baseball games can be decided in the second half of the game. Yep. And there's that ball. one's right back towards the camera. And, and there goes the <laughs> – that's baseball. Patrick, one-two count, two outs. And here's Patrick's pitch, and it's hit to right, and it's going to fall in there for the coming over. Oh, and, and they throw it away at Commodores first, and the Commodores are going to get score. across. Coming in is Combs to put the Commodores on the board. 5-1 game. And they've done this with two outs, yeah. two hits and a walk. So you never know. You get it going, you keep playing. As we mentioned, all comebacks in baseball start by getting a man on first. Bigman will come to bat for... The Commodores. Just 
That's two, it. two outs. Last three batters, they've had two outs. But. One zero -oh. upstairs, and the runners are on first and second once again for the Commodores. So, so not a lot changed with who was on. No. Pitch is low. And behind the batter here, and this is the first inning we've seen Patrick in any kind of trouble. First no, little bit of adversity. Yeah. And uh, Purry is going deeper in the counts, too. They're not being aggressive and going after those. 3 0, -oh, and he's in danger of uh, loading the bases here. Yeah. Boy, Coach Meehan. Uh, and they're, they don't look too concerned nerd, not, from the hazard dugout. Not at all. Faith in their man. I mean, he, he's got them five innings in. Yeah. Off a terrific pitch. Yeah. But sometimes you just got to get yourself out of a jam. Yeah. 3-0 the count. Patrick. And he's going to walk the bases full. Now you get a force play at any base, so. A force play at any base, but Mason McAlarnis Stepping up to bat and talking to the people before the game, the coaches and fans alike, he is the biggest threat to go yard in this field. Yeah. And, and yeah, he is talking. And they're going to call an infield meeting here for the Bulldogs because they know this is the situation. The tying run is at bat right now. Yeah. Coach Meehan, uh, been around the block. Uh, been in this situation more times than I've seen this situation. Yeah. If you notice in left, coach has scooted him back. Center is scooted back. And right is about average. Yeah. So, uh, so they know where the man hits. Yeah. So, uh, you know, what What do you do here? Something off speed to get a pop, maybe? Something outside corners? I, you know. Uh, you don't want to give him much to get know, a big contact on. Don't want to Don't want to give him that waist-high you know, fastball. I mean. Six, but, yeah. Six batters have come to the plate with two outs. So. Well, let's see what happens here. Big at bat. There it is. And that was, a, that was a good pitch. Yeah. Strike one. Exactly the pitch that Patrick had to bring in this situation. This is the biggest jam the Bulldogs have been in all night. Yep, Mac Lawrence with a gapper here will put the Commodores back in this yeah. ball game possibly. A gapper here or a big hit. Oh, and he's, he is sweet, he is trying to get a hold of one. Yes he is. But he's only got one more strike to give. Driving the right field. Now I think you'll see you know, you can't get too fancy here yeah. because if I'll get away from your catcher, you're going to give another run up. So you got to. I have seen the look game for the Look for the letter high, maybe. Catcher setting up outside. Pop up, and, up and the last thing the Commodores wanted here. Max Johnson, the shortstop, brings it in. Good play from the Bulldogs to get out of a big jam yeah. here in the fifth. Yeah. Well, Commodore's trying to get it going. We'll be back for the bottom of the field when we return. 5-1, Hazard.
Dick Goldberg. We're back, and it is the bottom <laughs> of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, Cherry at Commodore Field. Hazard will be coming to bat. They're leading five to one over the Commodores. And coming up for Hazard will be Duff. The first baseman for Hazard will be coming to bat. And Devin, you know, Commodores get some something going there with two outs, and uh, they got a run in, but they had an opportunity. You take one hit, one gapper, whatever, and you get really get things going, and uh, Devin will go over and fix their camera as baseballs are flying everywhere. Everywhere right now here at Commodore Field. Leslie County, want to congratulate them. A big winner over Buckhorn early tonight as uh, Leslie County will move to the uh, championship game to face the winner of Hazard and Perry in the 54th District Baseball Tournament. So, and the warm ups. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Dawson Duff. Leading off for the Bulldogs, number 21, Dawson Duff. Bulldogs got themselves out of a very big jam back in the yes, top Yes, they did. That was, that was big, uh, uh, Devin. That was huge, matter of fact, in this ball game. 10 o'clock on a Monday night here. Baseball action on Hometown 24. Absolutely. Glad to have everybody along. Hope you're enjoying high school baseball. Sets up with a strike to get us started, Michael Lawrence. And the Commodores got a little bit of action last inning, but this time they're going to have to try to hold the Bulldogs back. Well, Maybe give themselves another opportunity to get back in it. Yep. Duff being a little aggressive on the inside pitch there, yep. trying to drive. Bulldogs know a big inning. Mm -hmm. Could give them all the insurance in the world right now. Took something off of that one, and it goes to one and two, the count. And Commodore's been trying to clean things up a little bit on the infield. <laughs> yeah. High, that one came in high. Trying to get him away to chase the letter high fastball, and that one sailed even higher. Two and two, the count. No runners on here. Bottom of the fifth, and the Bulldogs lead 5 1. Duff in the batter's box. Becca Lawrence getting ready to bring 2 2 even count. The pitch is on, and it's got and away, full. and uh, we go full. And McLaurin has started the at bat ahead 0 and 2, but since then, three straight yeah. balls. Yeah. And Paige the game Logan. has slowed down yes. some in the last inning. We were moving right along, folks, and uh, it's bogged down a little. Big rip There's and a, a, out, out a and much needed out for the Commodores. Yep, Duff goes down on strikes. We've got one out. Up next to the Bulldogs, number eight, Gage Logan. Gage Logan. Logan. Logan is the third baseman for the Bulldogs. That was close. Very close on that Went one. Went low on the count. One and oh. Bulldogs started off a little aggressive here and then have regained their patience. Yes. One and one. I like the pitch. Yeah, I do too. It was uh, it was letter high on the outside, and you know, good good placement for the pitch. Here comes the one one. Correct. 
That one's heading in the center for the out. Yep, making the play there is for is Dustin Fields for the Commodores, the center fielder. Big play. And two quick outs, two of the quickest outs we've seen. Yep, Davidson will come up. For the Commodores. He's the catcher for the Bulldogs. And the Commodores would love to get out of this one in a hurry and get themselves a chance because they're starting to maybe find their place yeah. in the batter's box here. Yep. Boy, he brings the heat on that first pitch. He's been starting off the batters yeah. the last two or three with the fastball. Yeah, that one really yeah. good. And, and and to be perfectly honest we I want to say Jacob Daniels had good stuff tonight. The defense just didn't play behind yeah. him well, and he played well as also. He's the old one. A little cracker foul ball up the first baseline. Good crowd tonight. A lot of folks from across town come over, yeah. and uh, uh, these schools are what, Devin, three mi two miles apart? Very two close. Miles. They're yeah. they're about as close as NC State and uh, Duke. Oh, <laughs> did you have to bring up Duke? <laughs> <laughs> Catcher wants to back out Davison as he uh, he wasn't happy with his stance with a bat. Yeah. He wanted to re get reset. Baseball, a game of rhythm. Wooten is the catcher for the Commodores. And Ooh, strike. rung him up. Three up, do three it. down. Nice yep. work there from the Commodores. 5-1 Hazard will be back. Top of the six coming up. For over 100 years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. And we are back here as we head to the top of the six. The Bulldogs back up on the mound. Sawyer Patrick found himself in a jam back in the fifth, but got out of it with minimal damage, only one run across. And the Bulldogs have been in control, but as we headed to the last two innings, the championship innings, we'll call yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it right now, you say, well, Commodores, they've got six outs to make to try to tie this game. and. Because, yeah. you know, Hazard is going to bat last in this, in this game, and yeah. if Commodores don't uh, get something going. Uh, so the Bulldogs are six outs, Devin, yep. six for moving outs on. For moving on. Uh, it's, it's just that simple. And thanks to the draw system here in the district, the number one and yeah, number two teams in the entire know, region yeah, facing I, off in an elimination match. Uh, you know, I – I kind of hate to see that in a way, but we can't do anything about it. That's yes, the way the schools want it. Quite a few people have tried to change it over the years, yeah, and, uh, it's, and it's failed uh, every time. But, it, beca it becomes a 2-2 vote every time for some reason. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it happens, and uh, so if it does, it does. And, you know, we got to keep, keep playing, and uh, that's just the way it happens sometimes. But I tell you, I, I really like both of these ball clubs. Yeah. I do. Uh, I think they're coached well. Uh, the players are classy. They give a good effort. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're two good baseball teams. They really are. Number 14, Dave Elkins. Dave Elkins steps into the box. Looks like a grown man. Hits like a grown man as well. Elkins in as Patrick brings the strike on the inside corner. Boy, he takes an absolute massive swing at that first pitch. Yeah, I like the location of that one, Devin. Knee yeah. high on the inside corner. Very good looking pitch. High that time. Trying to maybe see if he's, see yeah. how antsy he is. 1-1 yeah. one, one to count as it becomes even. Fastball right down the pipe. One and two, the count. Top of the sixth from Commodore Field. 
It's been all Bulldogs from the first inning on. Commodores got a mount of comeback here late. That one stays high and evens the count at 2-2. So look for Patrick to come right at him yeah. this time, right down the pipe. See what he brings to this one. Doesn't want to get himself caught up in another big jam. Yeah. Good looking pitch. It's going to run the count full. Yep. Well, I some, like the pitch there, though. Yeah, it took something off and it stayed out. And uh, good job. By Elkins to lay off that. Oh, and he takes a swing and is going to go down. Pitch selection has been on.